on Monday afternoon, Dara was traveling back from uh, Sihanoukville with his family, and he was arrested by a barrage of six cars, military police cars, who arrested him, held him without charge for 24 hours, without any uh, awareness to the uh, his fa- friends or family about where he was or his safety. And then eventually he wound up in pretrial detention in Kandal province on the other side of the country. And what's led to people believing that this could be politically motivated? What kind of stories has Mekdara uncovered? So I think two things sort of lead to this uh, assumption of that this is maybe retaliation. And, and the first is what he's been reporting on, and that's that there is a massive industry of cybercrime that exists in Cambodia that is heavily profited uh, on and also demonstrated to be supported by many powerful people within the Cambodian government. And secondly, You can point to retaliation because Dara sort of appears at the end of about a two and a half year, what you could look at as a systematic campaign of repression. Just about everyone who has reported on or spoke publicly on this issue from Cambodia has experienced some form of state intimidation. Uh, And Dara is effectively the last locally situated person gathering evidence and investigating this story. And Jacob, multiple media outlets have now been shut down in the country, including Mekdara's former workplace, Voice of Democracy. What, what do you think this says about freedom of expression in Cambodia and how likely is it that this case could deter other journalists? So I think this is going to have an absolutely a chilling effect and, and partially because there just aren't a lot of people who who have watched what's happened over the last couple of years who are willing to confront the government on this issue any further. Uh, but second, as you said, systematically, uh, every major free press outlet over the last several years has been sh- either shut down, silenced or co-opted uh, into more of a state aligned propagandist voice. Um, And so I I think you're very likely to see a continuing contraction of civil society, Um, but there's not much further room for it to go. Dara certainly is one of the last local uh, independent journalists uh, that's willing to speak up on issues. And um, yeah, I think it's, it's certain to have a chilling effect. Jacob, seems really good to get your views. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Yvonne.